Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I have uh, an Arista switch. This is 7060CX, which is not booting. As we can see, the uh, the message right there um, can be different reason why the uh, the unit is not booting. One can be, you know, a missing operating system on the uh, MMT flash directory, a misconfiguration in the boot config file, a failed upgrade. You know, or maybe you know, can be you know the the the, the storage device can be the flash, a corrupt flash. Sometimes that happens. So, in this case, I will show you how to recover the unit using two different options. The option number one is using a USB pen drive. Uh, we recover the unit from there. Insert, we insert the USB and we copy the uh, file system. The I mean the operating system to the uh, flash directory. And the option number two is uh, using a TFTP server from the network. Everything depends, you know. Sometimes you don't have, you don't have the the TFTP server, you know, but you have the file on the USB, and then you can recover the unit for sure. So let me show you both ways. So uh, let me insert the USB in my uh, on the uh, USB port on the switch. So now we execute uh, to display the file system volume the F right there so this is the basically the USB so we need to copy the file system from there as option number one let's go to that directory that USB one USB one enter LS to display the so we uh, need to transfer the EOS this one right here copy copy the file name to the directory mnt the flash and paste it this will take about you know maybe a few minutes maybe a couple minutes something like that enter so um that's this is the option number one just copy you know the operating system from there and after that we need to you know to go and modify the boot config file uh, and as we can see, you know, on the on the boot message right here, look, that is looking for this operating system, but maybe it's not. I mean, it's the f not file found or or a file. So ba basically, you know, probably you know somebody raised the operating system from there. Sometimes, you know, maybe they execute a recover or full recover, but uh, maybe you know something fell during the process. So that's that can be the option, but in this case, we're a uh, copy using the USB. And the other option is, you know, um, using a netcom to transfer the operating system from the TFTP server. You know, we just assign a basic uh, IP parameters to the management interface, and after that, we uh, execute the command using a secure secure copy protocol to transfer the operating system from the TFTP to uh, Flash. So the transfer is complete. So let's go to a directory. Let's do MNT, MNT, the Flash. LS, so the operating system is there. So at this point, we can basically just modify this particular file right here and remove the unit. That will fix the issue. But let me show you how to transfer the operating system from the network, from a boot. So we execute netconf, the management interface, of course, IP address, the nest, the net mask, the default gateway. Uh, DNS is, is optional and the full domain is also optional so basically we are just right there yeah from here we just execute secure copy protocol to transfer the operating system SSP Carlos at 192.168.0.102 which is my server the full path of the directory which TFTP boot and the operating system name, let's see, I had this one, uh, this one right here, copy, 
campaigns and then to the directory flash and the file system the operating system name enter yes and this will take about a couple minutes to until the transfer is complete sometimes but if that depends depend on the the speed of, of your network so you know that's basically how to transfer the operating system from the tftp server using uh netcom a basic ip parameters you know on the management interface and the uh the common right here to transfer the operating system using secure secure copy protocol to the uh to flash to that particular directory after that we need to modify the boot config file and reboot the unit and you know that will be everything so let's let's just wait until i got the eight boot from would take a couple minutes a minute I have a video before in which I explain how to recover, you know, the password as well. Um, or reboot the unit factory default. Um, I suggest you watch that video. Uh, nothing crazy, just a very simple step, very simple thing that we do here. Taking a while, but um, yeah. Okay, there we go. We have back the uh, the shell prompt. So we uh, execute print working directory. So we need to modify the boot config file. Boot. I mean, sorry, uh, cut just to make sure what is the the file in there. Is that one right there? So ls to check. So of course I will select you know the most recent operating system, which is this one. Copy. So bi that that's the editor available and boot config dash config insert we need to basically to just modify this name right here so you have to option there but i choose the most recent operating system paste scale column wq to save the changes enter cut boot config and there we go so from there we only need execute reboot enter and that will reboot the unit you know sometimes take a little while i mean sometimes there is some uh, specific hardware upgrades on the unit but let's wait a couple minutes So the unit already uh, complete the boot process as we can see right here admin and then uh, let's check the version and there we go this is the new operating system there right so um, show inventory So inventory, um, show system, environment all to check the all fans are working properly. Show system, environment all. So there we go, uh, you know, all fans apparently they are working fine. I only have one power on the unit. So basically, this is how you recover the Arista switch from a boot using a USB auction as option number one and a TFTP server as option number two.
thank you so much for your time guys i really appreciate it and um, if you like the video please give me a like share it with your friends and co-workers and family members and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much and have a good night thanks